In 2020, the Arizona Utility Salt River Project announced plans to cease generation at the coal-fired Coronado Generating Station by 2032. This closure would not only impact the power grid, but the entire community. To say that uh, the power plants haven't had an impact um, definitely would be false. Um, that impact is felt across the community, even if you don't work there. We have some of the best schools in the state, largely in part to Coronado. Closing the power plant could result in lost tax revenue and lost jobs. As residents leave to find work elsewhere, the community suffers. Because it's not just the fact that they uh, provide jobs, but it's the fact that they provide good jobs. And so when people aren't worried about having to uh, keep food on the table, those are the people that end up volunteering your, in your community. Losing those kind of people uh, really hurts your community. The Salt River Project, the utility managing the plant, also recognized how the closure could affect the town. When the decision was made to close the coal operations, there was also a commitment made by SRP that we would come to the community, we'd give them plenty of lead time, and that we'd help and support them as they look to diversify their economy. St. John's and Salt River Project began work to diversify the town's economy and explore other options for using the infrastructure and workforce at the Coronado Generating Station. The community is very proud of uh, their role as energy exporter. They're proud to be a power community. So when we started talking about nuclear, the community actually started that conversation. During a chance encounter on a webinar, Udall met Kate Gordon, former senior advisor for the Department of Energy. After the webinar, Gordon reached out to Udall to talk about the possibility of repurposing the Coronado Generating Station with another energy source. Sometimes you just need a little luck in your corner. And this, this relationship was just 100% luck. These discussions resulted in the Department of Energy offering the Salt River Project $500,000 for a feasibility and economic study looking at repurposing the Coronado Generating Station. Uh, we had no clue they were gonna do that. And that, from the city standpoint, at least it gave us a little glimmer of hope. With that $500,000, DOE's gain Gateway for Accelerated Innovation in Nuclear stepped in. So Gain's role in, in this space was really about being the research partner, being the chief nerd, right? And um, looking at and helping to develop a framework by which these decisions could be made or considered. Gain partnered with NPR Associates and experts at Idaho National Laboratory to study if siting a nuclear power plant at the Coronado Generating Station was feasible and how it would impact the local economy. The study found that nuclear power could be a great option for the Coronado Generating Station and the community to retain jobs and to build the local economy. For every dollar generated by the nuclear station, there's a 1.5 multiplier in the community. There's significant overlap between the workers at a coal station and the workers that you need at a nuclear station. Which makes sense, we're just boiling the water differently. Meanwhile, Salt River Project and the St. John's community work to reimagine the city's future beyond energy generation. So early on, it was an informal group. SRP started coming and talking to some of the local elected officials. And, and now we've formalized a group. The group really comprises of a, a lot of community leaders across the spectrum, and we've tried to engage them. And, and anybody who's willing to step up and work, and business owners and chambers of commerce and all the, all the rest are part of this group, and it's a fantastic group that we have. As a result of this partnership, the team brought in broadband internet, something not previously available in the rural community, but something experts recognize as essential for bringing in new opportunities. Broadband is the number one hurdle that has been identified by all the economic development professionals in this region for the last 10 to 15 years. In November 2024, St. John celebrated the county's broadband extension project, which aims to connect nearly 3,200 homes and businesses. Uh, we would not have broadband coming to our area without the two power plants. There is still work to be done, both in St. John's and in other communities facing similar closures. My hopes for St. John's is that other communities see that raising your voice and being persistent 
you can get the help that you need. St. John's and SRP are a great example of the power of collaboration and community. The community has a lot of wonderful leaders and SRP is not here to try to tell the community what to do and how to do it. Uh, we're here to support and give them resources and we're going to help with the community every step of the way. I'm pretty optimistic. What I hope it means to me is my grandkids stay here. You know, we've been here for seven generations. I, I hope we can be here for seven more.